What's up guys? This is the Braveman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Louisiana. So, to round off up on last time, um, well, the most significant thing is that we have invaded the British Isles and engaged them in combat. This is because they bought, uh, they bought Charleston off of the Cherokee just before we managed to destroy them, so it meant that Britain had to die. But that wasn't a problem because we've got significant military forces in the region. And right now we are slowly transitioning our armies to head uh, over into the next theatre. Which is, well, initially we want to take over, conquer the British Isles and hold it as a, as a bastion to keep an eye on what's going on in Europe. But the main effort will be to land in India. And we will be, it will be tempting to take Ceylon and sail up and take Calcutta and use that as a secure base and push westward. I think that would be a good idea. It provides a secure base and we can build a church school here and start to spread Catholicism into the continent. And again, we will come back and deal with these native nations at some point, um, but for now they have... They have allies that we don't really... Why can't I do... Oh. Wait. Okay. Diplomatic relations wasn't, weren't... <laughs> I couldn't click them. Um, yeah, they're a protector of Dagestan. And Dagestan is allied with Persia, Russia and Georgia. So not interested in attacking them yet. Right, let's build metal roads in Dublin. Get the replenishment going. Let's build some West European mercenaries to replace this lost unit here. This army is marching up to intercept the leftover army that escaped in Belfast. Then they're going to go take Edinburgh, then push down to London. Swedes, our research is doing very well. Villages are not growing here. Um, so where does have a good population? New Mexico, I think, probably the best yes, bet. Sir. 100, 100 or so thousand. Okay. Yeah, that's what we're already doing. Recruiting militia to march them up to New Orleans. Basically, we're moving Mexican migrants up to uh, Lower Louisiana in order to help the towns grow. Yeah, you are ready as well. Although you're replenishing, so there's no rush. You guys march up. Everything else, however, seems pretty good. I mean, we do have this army down here, which we will take out at some point. Okay, Roland Joseph. You go have a look at the East Indies. You chaps can start to recruit trade ships. Although that's the entire population of uh, Paramaribo, <laughs> Elistus in the Navy. Okay, let's hop up to British Isles and then hit in turn. Oh, not that it makes any difference where I move my cursor. We always knew this was going to happen. Uh, so you try and retreat, just lure them away. Auto resolve. So we they lost three ships, they're down to ten. Withdraw, withdraw. We knew this was gonna happen fine against the Royal Navy. Obviously just ran around that army. But we will engage the Royal Navy with our own fleet that's in the Ivory Coast. They demand demand Newfoundland for peace. Counter offer. Why don't you just chill out? <laughs> don't worry, Mughal Empire. We're coming after you. We're coming after you quick. New town emerges. Harrisburg in Pennsylvania. Here, have a craft workshop. Happy drinker, heroic death. Oh, that was my admiral, the admiral of my trade fleet. Ooh, first, first, third. 
You've got a bunch of thirds, and they've got a second, right? Okay, let's use you to come in s this army, Mr. Sir Koof, to attack these three ships and hopefully capture them. Capture them for the Greater Louisiana Empire. So put our heavies up front. Let's deploy boys over here so that we've got the wind sort of on our side at least. bit of a funky one. Go on, Hornet. Um, so what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to chop the recording here. The bringing goes back when action has started. So, see you in a second, everyone. There we go. Battle has been joined. Opening salvos from my heavies, Revenge and Hornet against Elephant, first rate ship of the line. And Hornet up here is four chevrons, so he's quite. He is quite elite. I'm probably going to keep this on one speed forward because, damn, these ships are slow. So we're going to slowly come together in the merge. They're going to be just a shade faster than I am, so I'm probably going to have to do something like that. Okay, now we're going to start to lose Formation is going to start to go a bit funny. I'll fire your broadside anyway. We'll get most of them on target. Did you, did you lose your rear mast? That was a lucky salvo from whoever the hell that was. Pummeling broadsides in with the revenge. Everyone else will be getting into range as and when. She's on fire. Separate these two ships out from the formation. Probably don't need to go in much faster than that. We're two cells just fine. She's trying to withdraw. Reloading a lot faster than you think. So you pivot and rake that first rate. There we go. Although I actually didn't do much damage at all. Take advantage. Let's take command of the first handful of ships. You guys are going to pick your new target, which is the second ship in the formation. So 
Lawrence. So that's that Hornet. Continue to fire at will. Lovely broadside into St. Lawrence. Especially as you can't sail very quickly because you've lost your mast. Okay, sail. You sail like that at full speed. You're gonna, you want to go up there roughly at the same sort of rate as well. Bam! I wish we got a bit closer in the merge to fire chain shot, but sadly it was not meant to be. I know this guy's upset. Guys, go more like that. Full sail, hopefully, preferably. So, do have more ships to bring to bear? But want to fire this last broadside? could try and do something like that maybe oh there you go elephant's lost two masts well st lawrence has lost a mast as well so keep sailing a bit more into the wind than you'd probably like yeah you're in the hot seat now buddy Next, next speed forward. So Triton looks upset. Entirely understandable. Cyane looks upset as well. Uh, you fired most of your broadside anyway, so just fire your last two guns anyway, just to clear the barrels. Everyone else is just firing at will, just because there's no real need to control them. Um, so, hey, looks like they're going to be very upset with the progress of their uh, voyage. Especially these ones that are now Sir Lawrence sailing right down the muzzle. There we go. Routing on fire. Surrender! Fire rolling broadside into Sain again. You pivot. Fire broadside. Oh, Triton's going to love the pure destruction. Just stay where you are. You pivot. There you go, the Admiral was up on that mast and she <laughs> collapsed. Yeah, this third race routing. She will not get far.
surrendered, surrendered, surrendered. Good stuff. How's that a close victory? Oh, too bad. We got both the first rates, though. They can join our fleet. You guys make birth straight back to the Americas. Oh, God, that's a bigger fleet. Okay. Let's take them both back. <laughs> Stay away from you. Here we go. Our first tranche of Mexican migrants is done. There we go. And let's keep building. Harrisburg have already done. Savannah, Georgia. Okay, let's upgrade your government buildings. Make sure your roads are top notch. There we go. Rebuild the government building in Upper Louisiana and all the industrial buildings too. Okay, that's pretty cool. So you're still. Theodore's still replenishing. Uh, we've got armies still moving up into position. Cool. A happy drinker. Oh yeah, we've already done that. Okay, let's hit in turn. As our armies are embarking, like I said, these ones will be going to India. What? Where have you come from? Is that the army that's been set up there, like, the entire game? Since way back at the start? Could well be. Ooh, got Empire. Who are you at war with? You're at war with the Ottomans. I'm also at war. Oh well, no, you're trading with them. Uh, counter offer. <laughs> no. Not going to give you Panama, buddy. Got another rake. So let's get the rake into here as well. These are more ships being recruited. So you guys get over to there. Still ship shape. To be honest, embark. Sir. Embark. All of your men. You guys go up to Louisburg. Charles Louis Bonaparte. Charlie Bonaparte's over here. There you go, so they're completed. We've got more armies marching up. Trade route raided, trade route raided. The port of Tampico is growing. Damn, the trade of that. Oh, it's because they're East Indies. We're now losing money. Obviously not good. Yes, my lord. Heave away, boys. Heave away. Ship's orders set sail. Awaiting further orders. Ship's are they orders over set. here? They are. Set sail. Sweden. Officer on deck. Take him out. Our nation rules the sea. Orders. There we go. Under sail. Sit on the trade post. Oh, the port of Austria is being blockaded as well. By the Spanish. Damn. So, you, well, you can see... You can see how... Uh, how important it is that you manage your money. Well, in which case then, you guys... Bear in mind, I am actually now trading. With, I'm not trading with the Mughals. Good. 
Well, I will have them, aren't I? You men, make way, although you've lost all your agents, to uh, secure Ceylon. Uh, you, can you afford to leave the Carolinas? You can, excellent. March up. Uh, we've also got these scamps up here in Quebec. You guys march up. You can afford to leave them as well. Spain. I don't want to give you the Bahamas. I, want to, I need to make some friends. Not the Mughal Empire, not Britain. Oh, you guys chase down Dorian Ford. Proud and victorious. Make ready. March. Everyone except your guns. Can you chase them down? No. Make ready. So you guys all collectively march up. Yes, my lord. You guys cross over. Put Edinburgh under siege. Minus two grand. Well, it's because we have no trade. Trade is just gone. It's probably because of this. Oh, that's a junk fleet. Yes, my lord. Let's clear you out with Mr. Marmont. The sea is ours. Good. Nine grand in profit. And we should be more again in profit with trade. So we've lost trade with Austria, which obviously isn't good. So we want. Oh, do we need to make? Do we need to make peace with Georgia now? Because they're out there raiding our ships. No, I'm not going to give you anything. Yeah. So this guy is causing us. Lost you know. Georgia's not actually trading. Okay. Okay. So now we're getting to the point where our lack of a uh, major university is causing problems. Because we cannot research top tier economic texts that we now need. Well, let's upgrade the farm. Let's not go too crazy on building things. Let's let the turn, the turn tick out. Oh, they've landed an army down and intercepted us, eh? So we've got a garrison coming in behind us. Yeah, let's do it. So we do have a small... Um, a small... Uh, the Edinburgh garrison coming in directly behind us. So we've got to be ready for that. But we've got more than enough... Especially when we've got a lovely firing point. So I don't want to deploy too far back because I don't want them to have I don't want the British to do anything too sneaky. I want their main force to just come at me. Okay, so let's make it five strong. And anchor against the town. Okay, let's do this. You guys hold this flank. How it's a Deploy back here and fire at will. The last set of guns deploy up here. The infantry and cavalry, well, at the very least, two units of it. Their job is to respond to wherever the hell the reinforcements come in. They haven't come in yet, but they might not only come in until the British until the British uh, need them to. Yep, more than happy to have my artillery focus fire their guns. I'm 
might get my howitzer to try and start to attack some of these units that are marching in. Scottish line infantry. Actually, no, it might actually just be better to just focus on the counter battery roll first. get all of our guns to focus on that battery first to try to interrupt before we aim at the the, the first regiment it's fortunately they're focusing all their efforts on smashing our colonial militia Okay, maybe the lone foot artillery towards the rear, engaging, you guys might go after them. Foot artillery, or the howitzers. Howitzers focus on another enemy. Are you still wavering? Uh, how it says you might actually target the, independent, the Highlander Independent Regiment. The Hussars are charging in. into squares. So we don't want these no oh, two units of missiles into one. Okay you guys get back into square. Okay, cavalry, focus on focus on flanking around and attacking their artillery. My foot artillery, focus on their troops here. Bring my cuirassiers down. Okay, these men are holding on. I've got militia in the front line, but uh, well, at least they're, uh, they're they're happy to focus them, focus fire them. Charge my cuirassiers in. A bit of friendly fire there, never hurt anyone, except of course your friends. British into melee combat. Fortunately, they have hit my grenadiers. Let's position some of my infantry to fire into the bulk of the enemy forces that are charging in the rear, charging us in the rear, uh, charge my cavalry around this combat, probably not have my hearts as focus their fire onto this sector. I want these guys to continue doing what they're doing because they can fire by rank into the flank of these uh, 
infantry. Get my general to take out their general. There we go. Now they've started to break. Okay, here come the enemy reinforcements. The Edinburgh garrison. Okay, you guys fall back. How it says retarget. Okay, you guys get out of square and also engage the line infantry. Now you guys charge the back of them as well. Let's try free up some of our grenadiers. Everyone else form form line. Yeah, these two units of guns get back on foot artillery. The round shot, focus the fusiliers. The role of my cavalry now is to chase down survivors. Guard units, they're not slouches. Okay, Cassiers run on to that unit of line infantry. My light cavalry can target them. How it's his pick on the grenadiers, on the on the, uh, the guards, sorry. Good. Where's my skirmishes? My Coeur de Bois. Hopefully these guys tip, help tip the balance in our favour against the line infantry over here. forward you kill that last unit can you go over against that infantry over there you guys push up against the highlander independent regiment no they're gonna route go after that swiss line infantry instead coeur de bois i know you're upset because you're being shot at but you soon won't be Okay, you don't worry about the guerrillas, guerrilla mercenaries instead. Get ready to gun down those British fusiliers. Go get him. Let's get my cover over here to see if they can intercept the Swiss line. Before they can get it, get to the end, edge of the map. Oh, 
Go on, General. Take out those Fusiliers. After the Scottish Line Infantry, let's halt fire with everything. There we go. Mow down the Swiss Line Infantry. And then you shall be. Oh, we'll have done pretty darn good against uh, against the British. We'll have taken a bit more of a hammering than I would have liked by, by a huge margin. But. Damn right, continue. Go on, try knock out the Swiss line unit. Because it's the garrison unit. Now they're going to escape, sadly. So go after the garrison guards. Fusiliers are going to die. Go after the engineers. Good. Well, now it's... Actually, give the Scottish line. They're almost dead. And you go for the guards. Ah, they've split up, so they're going to make it. So have the Scots. Come on. You can figure out how to kill three guys. Everyone go after the guards, but they're going to rout successfully. Not easily, though, and not cheaply. They've sold. Their lives have been destroyed. Good. I'm taking a bit of a hammering there. Yeah, just a thousand men, but they lost almost everything they got. Oh, damn. Pull back. <laughs> oh, God, alive. We've stirred up a hornet's nest here. Reverse course. We have... <laughs> oh my god. Okay, maybe... <clears throat> their army anywhere for an awfully long time. So no wonder they've just been... Oh, it's not a bad life, I suppose. <laughs> oh, big stretch. Um, yeah, I need to bring more... Ooh, that's not good either. And that's not good that... It... Oh, okay. Gasp! Oh no, Austria. What's happened to you? You were doing so well. Austria was doing so well. Yeah, we need to try and extricate that army from the British Isles and get them back over towards Ireland, if at all possible, which it might not be, because it looks like there's a... It looks like there's a hell of a lot of men over there. Okay, 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 okay. So we're still slightly positive. We'll be a lot, a lot more positive when we've uh, when we've destroyed the British. But that will be a bit. There you go. Disband. No, oh, I don't even think that helped. Okay, so you go attack Kevin McDowell. You get back into port and let's fix the commercial basin now. The critical thing to do. Okay, let's get the militia out. You need to embark and get over there rapidly sir your orders your are the infantry there are no quick and easy ports to get them in but I think we can do it I'm 
pick both these third rates. Ready for for <laughs> Get them all over there. Even the one that's... Oh, okay, these are them. Misha Sekouf, who is looking for safe passage. Let's move the fourth rate out so I can get his fleet in. Okay, even... So we really don't need this army down here for now. Let's get them up there as well. Okay, those are the two armies that have joined in. We've built forts on these armies to the south. So, the British are swarming us. You're not a problem. This chap is the chap that has the problem. Because I can't get into the Irish Sea. You leg it south. Is there a way that you guys take London? By trying to flee. Is there a way that you Take guys... Ready. You guys may end up holding your position rather than specifically defending Dublin in order to get defences. Um, but yes, I think, looking at the timer, it's time to end the episode. So... Actually, what might be a better idea? Take you and take the war to the British and end on this note. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for another nail biting fight against the British in Ireland. Cheers, everyone. <laughs>